But you see, in all this, what underlies is the illusion that I am going on. A real continuity from this moment to the next moment to the next moment to the next moment. What are you afraid of losing when you die? Why? All the capital you've acquired during your life, the experiences, the friends, the status, the skills, everything that you remember would be destroyed when you die. We are afraid of losing the past. Now it's perfectly obvious that when you die, yes, everything that you've acquired as an individual and stored in your brain is dissolved and distributed. But at the same time, it is equally obvious that when you die, there won't be following the moment of death everlasting nothingness. When you die, you're always reborn, just as you were before. When you came into this world, there gradually arose into being the sensation of I. And it stays there a while, it goes through a development, and then it drops off. But all the time, everywhere, there are other eyes starting up. Whether they be human, animal, anything you like. They be in other galaxies, always, they're starting up. Now, you would say there is no connection between them. No, in the same way there is no connection between the molecules in your hand. And yet you say it is a hand. But if you look at it under a powerful enough microscope, the molecules in your hand are miles apart. And you would say there is no connection between them. What's the connection between this galaxy and other galaxies? Well, we can't see any connection. And yet there are gravitational swings whereby they respond to each other and move in a certain collective order. Say, okay, I'm going to be so much. I'm going to call myself this particular human being who lives for such and such a time. Okay, that's the way you want to play the game. That's the rules you've been told. A certain bundle of wiggles taken out of the total wiggliness of all that there is is me and another bundle of wiggles is very definitely you and that gets stuck on that therefore to start crying and weeping and gnashing of teeth all about this thing being real thing but we are constantly saying to ourselves and we are saying to our children it's real god damn it it's real and death is going to be awful and sickness is going to be horrible you see it's real and you better watch out people say to me you can say as a philosopher that all this thing is something. You can talk this way because you're sitting in a comfortable place. But you watch. When the thing hits you, you'll laugh the other side of your face. I don't give a damn. When it happens, it'll happen. But it's not happening now. And what I'll do when it does happen is the sufficient unto the day is the trouble thereof. <laughs>